Anthony DeCandia here, 4Q30, here with President Leahy. President Leahy, what does the opening of this museum mean to you, to you and the community educating the students by educating the students? Well, I think it's a completion, really, uh, of Murray Linder's vision. A member of our Board of Trustees who, who, when he heard about the Great Hunger Story back in 1997, the year I was Grand Marshal of the New York City St. Patrick's Day Parade, uh, he felt it was a compelling story that we needed to tell people on a, both in this country and throughout the world. So we dedicated in 2000 the Lenda Family Special Collection Room in the library. But I think um, he knew that to, to be successful in really educating people around the world, we needed a building and a, and a museum and a facility that would be accessible to the general public. And uh, uh, so having this facility right here on Whitney Avenue with easy access from New York to Boston, um, while I'm sad that we lost Murray this past uh, March 21st, I have to think that uh, uh, Murray's happy, and, and, and if Murray's happy with what we've done, uh, I'm certainly happy. Thank you. How do you, think will, how do you think this will impact the town of Hamden? What do you hope they get out of it? I think there'll be uh, a continued recognition for the town of Hamden. As Quinnipiac has grown over the years, the town of Hamden has become better known. I think there certainly will be a lot of tourism, people coming into the town of Hamden to visit this museum, coming up from New York, from uh, down from Boston, and, and literally from all over the country, and, and indeed uh, across the Atlantic uh, from Ireland. So the amount of economic activity that this will generate, because people coming here will stay overnight, they'll eat at one of the restaurants, and uh, uh, so I think for the town of Hamden, it's another mark of distinction. Uh, Hamden's already well known for the Quinnipiac Pole, Quinnipiac University, some of the sports programs that we have here. And I think this museum will now be a, uh, an additional major tourist attraction that will get greater recognition for Hamden and help really economic uh, growth and development here in Hamden. Have you thought about expansion in terms of the museum? No, we just opened it today, literally. So I, I, <laughs> I've been, most of my thoughts have been on making sure that uh, it was open appropriately, that the artwork was appropriately there, the educational materials there. Uh, I have no doubt in the, in the months and years ahead, you know, we have a new executive director who's only been on board for a week and a half. Uh, I have no doubt that she'll come up with some exciting plans for the future. But for right now, I really have been focused on just having a successful opening, which I'm pleased that I think we did today. How do you expect tonight's Dropkick Murphys and Black 47 concert to connect back with what you did tonight? Well, you know, in making sure that this dedication, that the entire Quinnipiac University community was involved, we've had a series of events. Jerry Adam uh, spoke here on Tuesday, the president of Sinn Féin. There were student groups there. I know student classes that attended that. We had the, um, the, uh, the artist had a panel discussion about Irish art and the famine. And uh, a lot of the faculty were there for that. There was a lecture last night by historian Christine Keneally. Um, but I wanted to make sure a larger number of students, uh, at least uh, even if they didn't come to the lecture or, or the art uh, exhibit itself, I wanted them to feel part of this exciting uh, event. So that was why we, I talked to Ben Clodier, the, the president of student government. I said, what about a concert? Uh, if we did a concert uh, that was you know, Irish oriented, at least I mentioned to him Black 47. He, acted like he's never heard of it and the students wouldn't know anything about it so so that's why we we decided well we'll do black 47 because there are uh, Irish people in particular who do know that and their name black 47 for 1847 the worst year of the famine but he suggested dropkick Murphy that the students would turn out in large numbers for them I had never heard of dropkick Murphy which made me convinced that that probably was the right band to bring students out. So so I think students hopefully will enjoy the concert, enjoy music that they like to hear. Uh, Dropkick Murphy is an Irish band from Boston, so um, uh, it will involve more of our students that they'll get to experience some of the activities in connection with this museum. Tomorrow we're actually having a, a special reception from noon to four. Um, the, it will be open, this museum, for just the Quinnipiac community, and students are welcome for that, as well as faculty and staff. Um, and then we'll open it to the general public on the 11th. So, but probably the concert tonight, it's my hope, I'm hoping to, um, uh, to see a large group of students. I've been to concerts there in the past, ludicrous I seem to remember, <laughs> so it's hard, hard to forget that concert. Um, but uh, I'm excited, as I always am, just to see large groups of our students together doing something that they enjoy doing. You know, I'm excited as well. I'll be there later tonight. Terrific. And I appreciate yeah. Q30, both the, the coverage you've given before and the coverage you continue to give. You, uh, you do a great job for our, for our students, and you're, we're proud to have you, most of you uh, students from our School of Communications. Thank you. Thank you for talking with me. Thank you.